Greatness does not go on sale, meaning that it's a price to pay. You don't have to, it's gonna cost you something. It's gonna cost you time, energy, money. Uh, Good morning, beautiful people. I am on my way to work, but as I was on my way to work, I had an idea. And as many of you know, I normally blog, but I can't blog and drive at the same time. I probably should not necessarily vlog <laughs> or um, record a message and drive at the same time. But at least I don't have to look at you all the time for you to hear my voice. Anywho, I was driving and I was just kind of contemplating, thinking about um, a conversation I was having yesterday um, with one of my friends. And it kind of ties into a message series that we've been in at my church. Um, and also at the same time, what God is stirring in me in this season. So a little bit of a, I guess a little bit of background is that right now God is doing the most in my life and I say that in two ways. Sometimes it feels like, okay God, you are really doing the most. I'm going to need you to chill out. And then other times it's a, it's a great thing. Like God is really doing major stuff in my life right now. So, um, in that I've got a lot of things on my plate like just period just things that he's he's growing and developing me and teaching me and showing me and things that I'm learning to do things that I'm having to do responsibilities that I have my daughter just started school back and so having to add that back up into the mix and it's just it's just a lot and um in that I've had many times where I felt just overwhelmed like God I, I just I can't do all of this um but knowing that he called me to be great, it's like, it, there's weight to this. One thing that my pastor says, and I hold near and dear to my heart, is that greatness does not go on sale. Meaning that it's a price to pay. You don't have to, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you time, energy, money, uh, doing what you want to do. It, it, greatness costs something. So knowing that God called me to a level of greatness okay so yes it's uncomfortable it's overwhelming there is a stretch and all of this so tie that together with what God has been teaching me because of the magnitude of greatness greatness takes you outside of your comfort zone in order to be great you have to do some things that you wouldn't necessarily normally do some things that just don't feel good some things that rub you the wrong way and push you and propel you so in this conversation I was having with my friend yesterday we were talking about how in order to be everything that God called you to be you have to move outside of your comfort zone and one thing that was said is that there are so many things that you'll never do until you do it. There always has to be a first time to do something. So you can't shy away from things because you've never done them before. You can't pull back on the things that God called you to do because uh, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do that. I've never done this before. But there always has to be a first time. Always. There always has to be that, that one time. We have to stretch and continue to push ourselves to do that like when we were having this conversation I was hearing God challenge me do some things for the first time do some new things learn some new things stretch push grow you can't grow unless you are expanded and you push and you try something new how many things do you want to try my bad I'm trying not to get hit by this truck how many things do you want to try that you don't because you've never done it before how many things do you miss out on because you don't push yourself past your comfort zone yeah you might get sweaty pits or sweaty palms and your voice might shake or um, your brain might go 50 miles an hour because you don't know what to do or how to handle it but 
that's the beauty of God calling us to do things. He doesn't call us to do them by ourselves. So this is my little ditty video to encourage you to push past your comfort zone, to get outside of yourself and do something that God called you to do, whether you've done it before or not. I don't know if it's starting a youth ministry or um, starting a mentor group or discipling somebody or leading worship or um, making a video. I mean, whatever it is that God called you to do, just because you've never done it before, don't keep don't let that keep you from doing the things God called you to do. Ask him for help. He doesn't call us to things that he doesn't help us and enable us and equip us to do. So that's my morning bit of encouragement. I pray that it helps somebody, that it stretches somebody, that um, you try something. If you do try something that you've never done before, let me know. Email me. Um, Brittany.c.harris at gmail.com or comment below or find me on Instagram or Facebook. Just let me know. That way, I mean, we're in this together. We're all part of the body. We're all brothers and sisters in Christ. And we help each other grow. We encourage one another. We strengthen one another. That's how we're supposed to live this life. So reach out to me. I love you guys. Thanks for watching this video. I don't know if anybody really will, but hopefully. Have a great day.